Stop I zero minute. one minute. Tuning in from Charlie's Cafe in Google headquarters. Good evening to you. At Peru Set in Pucusana at the Centro Nacional de Operaciones de Imágenes Satelitales de Peru. Hope I said that right. And greetings also to the ESA centers worldwide, the Area and Space Offices, CNEF, CNES Offices, all our industrial partners, and everybody watching on the Internet. We're just half a minute away from liftoff. We're going to cut away, let you listen to the DDO as he calls out the final 10 seconds, and we will be back once Vega has cleared the tower, the mission about to begin. Enjoy the lift. The DDO. Attention for the decant final. Final countdown. P80, décollage. Propulsion nominale. Pilotage calme, trajectoire nominale. As the DDO says everything is normal on board, you saw Vega rise like an arrow surprisingly fast if you're used to watching area and five lift off. DDO continues to say all is working perfectly. Those of you familiar with the Ariane flights know that the heavier launcher rises much more slowly, weighs six times what Vega does, carries four times as much propellant. Vega lifting off perfectly. French Guiana beginning her seventh mission, weighing at liftoff 138 tons. The first stage is burning now. It weighs 97 tons, 88 Le tons of our fuel. Most of any launcher's weight is propellant. The first stage burns its single engine for about two minutes before being jettisoned. The first stage is produced in Colifero near Rome, then delivered to the French Guiana plant here where it's loaded with fuel, then transferred to the booster integration building. You saw some of that in the video on the launcher campaign earlier. And what are the satellites doing right now, you are asking? Well, that's a good question. They are sitting quietly on top of the launcher, enjoying the ride, getting ready to go to work. They were disconnected from external power about 30 minutes before liftoff and are now running on their own batteries. There, it looks like extinction lower stage. Lower stage is also called P. And we've had confirmation of separation of the first stage and ignition of the second stage. All is going right according to plan. We're in the second stage burn. Second stage called the Z23, Z4 Zephyro, burns its solid rocket motor for 86 seconds. Again, if you're keeping score on the mass and fuel numbers, its weight, 25 tons, its fuel, 23 tons. Vega is launching north tonight towards a polar orbit. In this orbit, satellites are often used for global mapping and Earth observation. It's a sun-synchronous, heliosynchronous orbit. The satellite passes over the same part of the Earth at roughly the same time each day, but on a different plane, eventually covering the entire surface of the planet. They call it a ball of yarn type of orbit, if you can imagine that picture. This orbit is used for satellites that, of course, need constant sunlight to take quality pictures of the planet. And most Earth observation satellites are on similar orbits, Opposition much nominal, lower, lower than the geostationary orbit used by telecommunication satellites, the kind launched by Ariane. For those kind of orbits, we launch to the east across the Atlantic. Tonight, we're going north. On the bottom left of the screen, our altitude coming up on 120 kilometers, leaving the atmosphere. On the right, our speed approaching four kilometers per second. We're awaiting confirmation of the second stage. Du deuxième étage, Z23. And there it was, right on time, second stage separating and ignition of the third stage. Vega, V-E-G-A, means in Italian, Vettore Europeo di Generazione Avanzata or 
advanced generation European vehicle.